This is Cheryl from California. And we are on lesson number 17 of Agmandino's University of Success. And um, this chapter is um, written by the author Charles Tremendous Jones and the book Life is Tremendous. The quote for this chapter is, the biggest difference between a wisher and a doer is motivation. So this chapter is all about motivation. Now, um, I, um, I'm going to opt to just tell you one little story. And, um, but before I do that, I'm going to uh, read how um, the author starts this, this, um, this particular chapter. He comes in and he um, he writes in the big on the board and he he introduces himself as Charles Tremendous Jones as he writes in the board and he um, he says to the class, do me and yourself a favor during this, this lesson. If you're able, if you are to profit as others have, don't remember what I say here. Remember what you think as a result of what I say. My number one objective is to stir up your thought processes and help you frame your own best thoughts with words so that you can harness and use them. Is that a deal? And don't take things too seriously. Success can be fun. Life can be fun. Life is tremen tremendous. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll even have you smiling once or twice. So this is how he starts off this chapter. And then um, the one particular story, it talks about um, this young man who was a goof off. He was on a football team and he, you know, would come to practice but really would not do anything. So at one particular practice, he gets a telegram. And the telegram just simply says that, you know, his, um, his father is dead. And the coach immediately tells him, you know, take some time off. Well, the next week was, um, was a, a big game. And the kid came up and he's like, can I play? Can I play? And the coach was like, no, you know, you don't hardly even, you know, do anything when you're at practice. And um, he kept you know, asking the coach, can I play, can I play? And the coach kept saying no, but down around halftime, um, the coach, they were really down and, you know, really um, losing a lot, and they were down by a lot of points. And the kid finally comes up, he says, can I play, can I play? And the coach finally lets him in. And he starts to play, and immediately when he gets in there, he turns the whole whole game around. He is, you know, he's self-motivated, so he's turned the whole game around, and he uh, he he goes and he starts uh, scoring, and he starts to um, um, really turns the the team where they start to really pick up in their play, and then at the end he makes the interception and runs to the. Um, to the field goal and was able to get the final touchdown. And the coach pulls him aside afterwards and says, you know, what happened out there? You know, I've never seen you do anything like that. He said, well, he said, well, coach, you know that my father died last week. And he said, yeah. He said, well, my father was blind and today was the first day he ever saw me play. So because his motivation was to make his father proud. He went out there and he turned the whole team around and was no longer a goof off and actually won the game for his team and motivated his team. So I think the biggest lesson that you want to take from this is that your motivation has to come from within. It can't be something where someone motivates you. You have to have your own motivation. So this is Cheryl. Um, that was lesson 17 of Augmentino's uh, University of Success. 
I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.